So a little while ago, I was emailed by Abby at ben Bonoak? Bonoak? I'm gonna call them Bonoak because that is how I heard it said. Anyway, I got an email from Abby at Bonoak saying that they like my YouTube channel and would like to send me a microphone slash karaoke machine. So after a bit of correspondence, we are here. Disclaimer. I'm not at all paid by Bonoke to say anything about this microphone. Bonoke simply provided the microphone. With that in mind, I'm going to be reviewing this as a gift for a kid, as in reality I would never buy this as a proper karaoke machine. More on that later though. Okay, with that out of the way, welcome to Tech to be Discovered. Section 1. Unboxing. You already saw some of what is included in the box, but other than that, you of course get the case and microphone. You also get some documentation on the product. A male-to-male 3.5mm -male audio cable, a 3.5mm jack to micro USB cable. Also included is a windscreen, although I wouldn't recommend using this because the pickup or gain is already extremely low, meaning that with it installed it would only make the microphone quieter. Moving on to design, we will first look at the case. The case is arguably one of the nicest looking cases I have ever seen for a microphone, or come to think of it, almost anything else. It is a hard case with some nice red trim on the borders of the case. Moving to the microphone, the handle's made out of metal, and the shroud around the buttons is made of plastic. The speaker grill is made to be pretty sturdy as it is made out of metal. Below that metal grill is where you can see the speaker driver. Directly below the aforementioned plastic shroud is a micro SD card slot headphone jack, and micro USB port for charging. While we are talking about the jacks on the bottom of the device, the headphone jack is not able to play music through the integrated speaker, but instead used for listening to the microphone, thus how I recorded how it sounds. But that's coming up in just a moment. Moving to the micro USB port, this is of course used for charging, but when used for with the included micro USB to 3.5mm audio cable, can be used for playing music with the integrated speaker within the mic. This cable can also supposedly help the microphone interface with some karaoke apps. However, my testing was limited and I was not able to test this. Also on the bottom of the microphone is an SD card slot. This can be used if, if for some reason no device Bluetooth or headphone jack is present to play music offline. Moving to the buttons, on the left we get four different modes for controlling Bluetooth. Starting at the top we get mode for switching between the micro SD card and Bluetooth, a skip back button, a pause play button, and a skip forward button. Next to that, you get the sliders. Although they may not be all that precise, they do what they are supposed to. With the first being a volume slider. It actually only adjusts the gain of the microphone. The echo slider does, it does actually adjust exactly what it says it does, the echo of the microphone. To be clear, this is not reverb, it's an echo. Next, you get the music slider, which adjusts the volume of whatever is being played over Bluetooth. Below that, you get the power button. The power button is held down to turn on, then pressed to turn off. Holding down the power button to turn it on, you get the generic Bluetooth speaker on sound. However, when you go to turn it off, you get a sound that I hadn't heard in a few years. The turning off sound is literally just a notification sound from the Windows 7 days. Let me know down in the comments if you recognize this sound. Section 3, Sound Quality. Before I tell you about sound quality, please make sure to go below this video and press subscribe. Or if you think you already are, just make sure to go down there and check. Although this doesn't matter as much, I would like to include a section of the video dedicated to showing you, the best that I can at least, how this karaoke microphone sounds. Starting with the quality of the mic, I will be putting it up against not only this microphone that I'm currently using, the Blue Yeti, but also a, no joke, $4 add-on item microphone that I got on Amazon a few years ago. You already heard the Blue Yeti, so now on to the Binoke karaoke microphone. This is the Bono Binoke karaoke microphone. So I'm currently recording off of the headphone jack on this microphone, slash speaker, slash Bluetooth speaker, slash everything else, all combined into one. 
So as you can hear, you aren't going to want to buy this for simply a microphone, but it would work if you needed it in a pinch, and for some reason you were having it, you had it on a desktop or something that didn't have a microphone. So now you're going to hear my voice after I have done a little bit of post-processing. Wow, I can't say that. Okay, so now you're hearing my voice after I've done a bit of post-processing. So I've been holding the mic at the same place through the entire video, uh, throughout this entire recording. So uh, yeah, anyway, you're hearing my voice, and uh, obviously my Blue Yeti is going to sound better because it's like twenty dollars more. But just for kicks, I'm going to plug in a four dollar microphone that I got from Amazon. It was an add-on item a very long time ago that I got. That's also supposedly for a karaoke machine, but it's a USB microphone. So why don't we plug that in and see how she sounds comparatively to this? So now I am talking from the $4 microphone that I got off of Amazon. And unfortunately, they don't sell it anymore. It was actually an add-on item that I am extremely pleased that I found. That was a couple years ago. But anyway, um, so now you're hearing that audio, and this is unedited. Uh, anyway, I'm glad you listened to this. Um, make sure to let, put down in the comments which one you thought sounded better. Obviously, I think that the $4 microphone did. But you also got to remember the $4 microphone didn't come with a Bluetooth speaker built into it or any sort of buttons or anything. I may still link the link, though, that I bought this microphone from, even if it's not available, down below if you want to check it out. Okay, so obviously the Blue Yeti sounds the best, but that isn't even worth comparing because the two have a giant, giant price gap. However, I did think that the $4 mic did sound better, but please remember that this was just a mic. There was no inbuilt Bluetooth speaker or even a headphone jack. Considering that what the microphone was built for, I'm going to give it a pass on this one. However, this microphone was built for karaoke, and honestly, in my testing, there was almost no amplification of my voice from the original volume. So this is why I am saying this is much better as a gift for a kid. In many ways, this downside to the karaoke microphone is an upside for a parent getting this gift for a child. In testing with my younger family, I, they felt like their voice was being amplified, yet it wasn't really that much louder than their voice by default. Don't get me wrong, the microphone was picking up and putting out their voice through the speaker, but their voice being somewhat deflected by the speaking into the microphone, it did not seem to make them any louder. Moving on to the aspect of the Binoak's inbuilt Bluetooth speaker, I will put it this way, it sounds good enough for what it is. I will be recording this test using my Pixel MC650 shotgun microphone. I will put the mic karaoke microphone up against my quote unquote wall of speakers. That I do not have time to list what is all in that, but you can find some of what they are in the, everything in the description. I will put it up against a popular cheap Bluetooth speaker from Altec Lansening, the Mini Life Jacket 3. One of the songs I will be using is Project 2030 by Lost Identities. And they said that I could use it, so I think that's pretty awesome, and I think it's an awesome song. And so if you do, make sure to click the link in the iCard that just popped up in the right-hand corner of the video, and check them out. All the speakers will be set to around 65 decibels, which is a normal volume for listening to music. As I said, the speaker is good enough for what it is. I would still definitely buy something else if you're looking for a proper karaoke machine though, as I said before.
Okay, my experience and would I recommend this karaoke microphone? Yes, but as always, with qualifiers. No, if you want a karaoke machine. No, if you want a Bluetooth speaker. And even no, if you want a microphone. However, this is a big, big yes if you want a great present for some kids in your life. Because of its extremely affordable price tag, this makes for an awesome gift for kids that love to sing. With prices going as low as $26 when on sale and $30 for when it's just normally priced, the microphone makes a great gift. I know for sure that some of my, the littlest in my family will be very happy this Christmas. This review was of a review sample of the Bono Q37 karaoke microphone. Tech to be discovered and Binoke are not affiliated in any way, but Binoke upon request sent a microphone to Tech to be discovered. As always, Tech to be discovered does not produce paid reviews. Thanks to Binoke for sending over the microphone. Other than that, I'm Ben, this is Tech to be discovered, and I will see you in the next one.